Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a quick tutorial on how to add seats to your avatar. So first we're going to get our avatar, and we're going to find a spot to put them. Here I'm going to attach it to the left shoulder, so I'm going to expand out the hierarchy here until I get to the hand. Now here, what I want to do is create a new empty, and for this game object, I'm going to rename it C, so that I'm able to identify it later. And now we have to add two components to this. The first one will be the VR chat or VRC, and it will be called the station. So right here. And then the second one will be the collider. So I'm going to pick a box collider here. So uh, you can mess around with the station script uh, and see what you like. For now, I don't want to force them into any animation and I want to have them seated. So I'm not going to change anything here. And now for the box glider, as you can see, it's quite big and I want to change this. So what I'm going to personally do is I'm going to press R and then I'm going to go and resize it. So I'm going to move this a bit till I find it about right. And I'm going to go here, control C and then control V it here. And then for the Y, I'm going to just grab this blue one and squeeze it down to right about there. So it covers the hand. So this will be a little box that shows up when somebody like clicks on your avatar and tries to sit on it. So there it is on your hand. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to create an animation. So we're going to click on our avatar here. Uh, we're going to just quickly for demonstration purposes in the controller, you're going to go to your FX layer that you're using down here. So it has the match so you can add it to the FX layer. Now you go down, create a new clip. We're going to call this one seat on if I spell seat right, there we go. And we're going to record the animation and with the seat, we're going to click it on and off and it should be on at the end and then scroll down, create a new clip. We're going to call this seat off and we're going to do the exact same, except for we're going to make sure that it's off at the end. So as you can tell, it is off here and over here it is on. So now that we have done that, we will go to our animator. We will create a new one, new layer. We will scroll down. We will put the weight up to one. And then we're going to rename this to be seat toggle. And we're going to go into our parameters. We're going to create a new one. We're going to make it a bowl. And we're going to rename this seat. Remember this for the later point. Uh, now inside of here, we're going to find our two animations. So we have seat on and seat off. We're going to start with off as default and then seat on. We're going to make a transition here and then a transition here. And for this, we're going to set this uh, seat to be true. And we can change these settings here depending on if you want it to be instant or not. I personally do, so I set it to zero. I will now do the same here set these to zero and then over here we're going to put C and this one will be false this time. Now we're going to go to our avatar. We're going to scroll down to our parameters. We're going to click here and we're going to create a new parameter. We're going to make sure it's a boolean and it's going to have the exact same name from the one earlier which was C. And then now what we want to do is we want to find our menu which is this one here. We're going to do new one. We're going to change it to C and we're going to make it a toggle and we're going to put the parameter seat in there and to test if this all worked, uh, it would be a bit hard to display inside of unity. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add a 3d object that's visible. As you can see, it's now visible here and I'm going to turn this on. Now, by default, this will be on as the parameter that we made over here. Uh, if I can pull it up right over here, this parameter, we chose to make it by default on. You can change that, however. So uh, here you just click it. And to make sure that the toggle worked, I will pull up the emulator. I will go into tutorial and I will click seat off. And as you can see, the collider is no longer there along with the visual representation, which is the cube that I put. And this, as again, as I said, is completely unnecessary. 
you can just delete this and it will work the same. But um, yeah, thank you for watching.